Since its launch in July 2022, the cosmic telescope James Webb has unveiled a remarkable revelation, completely reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. Presently, it encounters a structure that, contrary to past theories, should not exist, casting doubt upon the entire concept of the Big Bang Theory. What in fact was in the beginning? To comprehend the early cosmos, we must journey back to the moment when time and space, as we understand them today, had yet to materialize. According to the Big Bang Theory, the entire potential remained in a state of perfect equilibrium, a state that, through our physical measurement methods, equates to nothingness. Then, through the slightest perturbation, the universe emerged from a singular starting point. You can imagine this point tiny, and at the same time, this point corresponded to all the points that will ever exist. With the colossal explosion, cosmic inflation promptly commenced. The infant universe shot outward in the form of an unimaginably hot and dense broth. We remain uncertain whether space originated precisely in this manner or had previously existed. Even the first phase of inflation equated to a 90-fold expansion. Within fractions of a second, the cosmos ballooned from subatomic dimensions to the size of a golf ball at the moment of the Big Bang. Following this, the universe's expansion continued until the present day. It cooled minimally, but according to prior calculations, for around 400,000 years, it was too hot to give rise to matter or light. The epoch of the formation of light lasted presumably more than 500 million years. Initial stars formed, initially shining individually in the universe or coalescing into untamed, disordered star clusters. It's presumed that high-order galactic structures such as spirals or disks only emerged roughly 1 billion years later, if not even later. However, now the cosmic telescope of James Webb has detected at least six galaxies that were fully formed only 500 million years after the Big Bang. This poses a scientific enigma. A team of researchers from the University of Minnesota even discovered what is essentially a minuscule galaxy that, incidentally, birthed a substantial amount of new stars relative to its size. The galaxy's volume comprises merely one millionth of the Milky Way's volume, yet it generated approximately the same number of stars per year as our galaxy did when it emitted the light we observe today. This reveals a markedly different picture of the early cosmos than previously believed. Studying these early galaxies will aid scientists in uncovering more about the genesis of the first stars and galaxies following the dark age of the universe. Increasingly, the question arises, does the temporal span, slightly exceeding 13 billion years, genuinely depict the cosmos's birth, or must we also reconsider the universe's age entirely? A space revolution thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. When the Space Telescope James Webb, or JWST for short, was launched, scientists around the world understood that its new unique technological capabilities would bring entirely fresh impressions of the cosmos. This was, of course, eagerly anticipated, which is why NASA, the Canadian Space Agency, and the European Space Agency invested approximately $10 billion into it. After Hubble had been bringing us closer to the expanses of space for over 20 years, its successor telescope was meant to peer even farther. The reach of James Webb extends at least 13.5 billion years. Thus, the new telescope looks not much farther than its predecessor Hubble, but its view is sharper. Researchers can study objects billions of light years away through minimal shifts in their light emissions or through redshifts. The clearer the image, the better measurement results are obtained during analysis. Naturally, astronomers wanted to use the new telescope to learn more about the stars and galaxies present shortly after the universe's formation. Investigating the first stars and galaxies is one of the main objectives of the JWST mission. The oldest black hole. Scientists have made yet another sensational discovery using the James Webb Telescope. They have identified a structure that could potentially be one of the oldest known black holes in the universe. Thanks to the telescope's incredibly powerful sensors, structures indicating the presence of a black hole have been found for the first time, dating back roughly 570 million years after the previously presumed Big Bang. Black holes are relics of ancient, deceased stars. Additionally, this mesmerizing structure is a supermassive black hole, suggesting the possibility of multiple black holes colliding and merging into one. Another potential scenario could involve the explosion of an immensely massive star. However, if these events occurred only 570 million years after the Big Bang, it implies that stars that formed black holes at the end of their lives must have been much older than they are today. Astronomers already know that the first stars likely had relatively short lifespans. Blue supergiants could have burned out in just a few hundred thousand or a few million years. Nevertheless, this doesn't explain the existence of such a sizable black hole shortly after the Big Bang. 
The discovery of six galaxies that were already highly structured in the presumed early epochs also presents a completely different puzzle. Forming such galaxies requires time. Our own galaxy was probably once nothing more than a cluster of a few stars. Exploded stars formed black holes, which then collided and grew into larger black holes. Eventually, giant black holes began attracting more and more stars into their vicinity. Their gravity compresses surrounding structures into disk-like or spiral shapes, giving rise to galaxies. This process takes billions of years. The question of how black holes in the cosmic twilight could have grown so massive in such a short time, and how fully formed galaxies existed within 200 or 300 million years, will keep scientists intrigued for quite some time. Galaxy Sewers 10 to 19 Sewers 10 to 19 was already discovered in Hubble data when the team of scientists was searching for the earliest light traces of star formation. This initial light is known as Lyman Alpha radiation in scientific circles. This radiation arises from the ionization of neutral hydrogen. According to previous assumptions, the early universe was filled with a fog of neutral hydrogen for a long time, which hindered the propagation of light. Only after this hydrogen was ionized could light freely travel. This process of reionization remains a puzzle for science. Perhaps everything researchers have assumed thus far is mistaken. The extremely powerful infrared instrument of James Webb was able to examine sewers 10 to 19 and its supermassive black hole much closer than Hubble. And again, researchers were in for a surprise. Galaxies of this age usually emit light only from early star formation. However, in this galaxy, traces of both star formation and a black hole were discovered. The black hole itself does not emit light, but dark giants gather matter around them in a unique way, and this matter radiates light. Sewers 10 to 19 demonstrated both types of light emission. Moreover, this circumstance shouldn't even exist. Now, researchers are faced with even more mysteries than ever before. For multiple branches of astronomy and cosmology, these discoveries signify that a decade of work has become history. Dissertations need to be recalculated, and textbooks need to be rewritten. Imagine that you've just finished school, your diploma is in your pocket, and then someone comes along and tells you that everything you learned in physics, mathematics, and chemistry was a mistake. This is how researchers around the world have felt ever since the JWST began sending captivating yet contradictory data to Earth. Meanwhile, the strange discoveries continue, only unfolding further. Even more unusually large black holes have been found in the early universe. Among them is J1342 plus 0928, discovered around 690 million years after the Big Bang, containing a supermassive black hole. The center of this early galaxy, housing one quasar, is 800 million times the size of the Sun. Another black hole was found in the galaxy J03131806. It already existed around 670 million years after the Big Bang and holds a supermassive black hole 1.6 billion times the size of the Sun. Does this refute the Big Bang Theory? For many astronomers and space enthusiasts, following these astonishing discoveries, it's becoming increasingly clear that the Big Bang Theory has been challenged. However, the scientific community is still grappling with such assertions. For almost 100 years, the Big Bang Theory has appeared consistent. Many other observations, such as the expansion of the universe and the cosmic microwave background radiation, seem to confirm these assumptions. Researchers are not fully prepared to discard the Big Bang Theory. After all, it's entirely possible that the birth of the universe simply occurred much further back in time. Our cosmos's age could be 15 or even 20 billion years. Similarly, the early universe might have behaved quite differently. It could have cooled faster, stars, galaxies, and black holes might have formed earlier. Currently, teams of scientists worldwide are working to reconcile new discoveries with old theories. Whether they will succeed in doing so, or if JWST will ultimately overturn the Big Bang Theory, we'll know in a few months. Perhaps, it might take a few more years. Leave your opinion in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you soon.